Contracts cover everything from the cup of coffee you buy today, which may not look like a contract, but has a whole network of promises embedded in that transaction from the idea that that the coffee is going to, you know, be healthy for you, right? That it won't be adulterated. All the way through to complex contracts for software development, recording contracts, contracts to manufacture things, put them on ships, load them from ships, distribute them. If something goes wrong with it, there are systems of warranties to govern what your rights are in terms of if a product turns out to be defective and the like. And most of the time, we're not even aware of this, that it just, it's kind of like a, a, a software program that runs in the background without you ever becoming aware of it. And that's the genius of the common law is it provides this whole system of default rules that allow you to engage in these complex transactions without even thinking about it, but at the same time allows you to tailor those rules to fit whatever your circumstances are. You can think of writing a contract as being like buying a suit. You can walk into, say, Macy's or Brooks Brothers, and you can just get a suit off the rack, and it'll you know, and fairly standardized size. It'll fit people pretty well most of the time. Maybe you have to have the cuffs taken up or the pants hemmed, but mostly it works for you with some nips and tucks around the end. Or you can invest a lot of money. You can go to Savile Row and get a custom made suit that costs a couple thousand rather than a couple hundred dollars that fits you perfectly. And what we see is that's the flexibility that contract law gives you. For simple, ordinary transactions, it's like an off-the-rack suit where you could take the terms and it saves you all the trouble of hashing that out and negotiating it. Or if you're gonna do some sort of complex you know, transaction, whether a merger and an acquisition, for example, of a multi-billion dollar company or software development thing or making a movie or something like that, there may be all kind of specialized terms and conditions that you want to, uh, to, to include in that. Contract law is flexible enough to do both of those at once, to provide off the rack default rules, as well as the freedom to be able to create your own custom made rules if you're willing to go to the additional hassle and the difficulty of doing that.